the mirror here will make you feel like a superstar. The superstar that you are, I swear. As you go back in the magic book, also known as being glasses, with a beautiful smile, the one and only honey cushion. I am more than to be back on the red app. Okay, I just want one plea, one plea to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, if you are down for your girl, and obviously if you're a newbie, please do that. But if you are a regular, sweetie, welcome back. Your girl is back with nothing but energy. Hope I'm going to be consistent this time. I'm going to be trying out something different this time, which is vlogs, which is what I'm going to be doing for you today. I'm going on a young um, event type of day. So yeah, there's the Harvest Gym Festival in KZN. So my friend and I are going there. I'm going to take you with. I'm currently going to get ready because I'm quite late I'm running literally um low on time um my boyfriend was, uh, was literally holding me for time so i just thought i should come and do this intro and take you with me to the event i hope you enjoy this vlog please remember to like share and subscribe <laughs> He's here. Obviously, the mission begins. So, this is Hamba. I'll show you guys when we get there and stuff. I look so pretty. Sandla in Dombi can see it. Sandla Alright, guys, I'll see you a bit later. Yes, what's up, baby girl? Oh, girl, girl, girl. So what color are you doing? Purple. What kind of purple? Bright purple or lavender purple? That's what it says on the box. Depression purple. <laughs> Him, Gani. Oh, really? That's great. It's just I'm gonna just huh? ask them. I would take the back drop it off. I say, I say SARS. I say SARS. I just try calling again. He said he couldn't hear me. He's passing Howick. So I just want to tell him where it's actually to jump off because I'm at Gold Ace, so which is at Invesco Center right next door to Cubana and if you don't get your cuts and colds here I don't know what you're doing sweetie I don't and this is not a paid partnership yes Ngani? girls <laughs> all over the world I could be chasing but my time would be wasted they got nothing on baby it looks so good it looks so good <laughs> If anything about my friends, so right now we're going to a pick and play liquor to get more alcohol. Yeah, I'm going 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 to get more alcohol. Yeah
and yeah and not to say that we don't get any complimentary drinks from the event it's just that we want to we want more alcohol we just want to have more alcohol <laughs> readily for us sorry thank you Tastes really good. So, it's like <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. So, guys, I'm going to take you on a tour around. So, I'm going to show you around. I'm going to go to Konanla at the Harvest Gym Festival. Okay. So the Harvest and Gin Festival was celebrating their one year anniversary yesterday. So too many more milestones. about to sneeze and then it doesn't come 
Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So we're doing also to be alive, be home safe and stuff. But last night the event was good and stuff. Um yeah, it was it was good. It's just it just wasn't up to par to the last event that they had. Um here and how we get the moon gonna get to side. Yes, Daddy, I'm coming out. Get the mountain. Get the mountain. So basically, well, I'm to talk to you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, <I'm ready. laughs> thank you, Daddy. Um. So. Anyway, it's fine. So. Yeah, what happened was. We left the event. Oh, I was still talking about the event and how I felt about it. A young review, basically. Firstly, um, it wasn't giving as much as the first Harvest and Gym Festival that I went to at the Mandela Capture Sites, as I had already mentioned. That one had KZN tourism over, there was games, there was even that, um, what is it called? But you know that. A machine where you sit down and it's, it's not a hallucin, hallucin um, type of it's kind of a, a hallucin type of machine but Ngati is a PS little kind of man. yes whoever you are please comment down in the section in the comment section um, and, and just tell us what that thing is I'm probably gonna get it after I record this I'm gonna try and call it but yeah, but yeah, they had those games, they had women games, they had like inflatable uh, castles for the kids to play um, and obviously there was also the museum to actually go to as an attraction so it was like, it was an interesting vibe also at that one we watched a movie, a short film actually and it was kind of like, you know, really chilled and comfy that one at home place, that place is way too open firstly for the outcome yeah, yesterday. Um, it's way too open, but it was a nice place. You'll see it. Well, I'm sure you've seen it. Um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't giving as much as last year, but they were celebrating, they were celebrating their one year yesterday. So, yeah, let's see what they do again next year. I'll give it a try one last time and if they don't redeem themselves well then I don't know but I think they are capable of it because yeah no if anything that woman is powerful she is really powerful because the brands that she has on site see even department of agriculture was there like it's a whole lot it's just that the food stores weren't giving this year yeah, the food stores weren't giving and they were expensive they gave me their food wasn't giving like last year there was a variety it was your soul food here yeah, there was your modern cuisine that side it was, it was just a lot to go around but this year it was so so but anyway after leaving there we lived at like seven o'clock if anything oh about the about the event they had this drama didn't get his name they had this drama and they, all, they had like um two major stations they had Vuma and Gulu of which I was on a in one of the clips that I attached and yeah, that was also a vibe that was also a vibe, the drama is really good um, going forward, we left the event hey guys, we have got a lot for Inkatas we left early Kamnani because obviously there's Ted Chai, Abano and there was just the three of us, two of us could drive and Teresa was the one that was like, no, she's not going to drink too much because we are driving, right? See how my mom and I did a little cruise in the room at Britain and my friend used to live there, she used to live there with her grand and she was like, oh, yeah, no, we are go, go, we are not going to do it. Oh, really? She's like, should I show you? I was like, oh, might as well run the you over to Coco's house. Let's see, all right. Singing, and I was like, oh, here it is. Now I am going to take this room and then she drives into the driveway, right? As she's coming out, she's in a lumbo and the guy came in the lamp with the door. That steep, that, that um, driveway was quite steep. So we drove into the ditch. We got stuck. He grabbed a zamu push. He grabbed a zamu push. We got stuck there and the road was dark. No street lights, nothing. 
Mind you, my other friend kept on acting good. Yeah, he was happy, yeah, why? You know? But I just wanted to see it. It was a sentimental thing for the both of us because he wanted to see Coco's house and where they lived before. Okay, fine. Her cousin was able to, because like we called everyone, we called her cousin, I called daddy. Yeah, daddy was on his way back now from, you know, Howick coming back to us, trying to help us. Luckily, cousin got chef first. And then, yeah, we were out of that ditch. Coming back to Howick. Obviously, we rendezvoused into KFC because we were hungry AF because, well, we didn't eat much at Bacon because the food wasn't giving. Okay, so convoy with daddy, right? Because the cousin is already off ramped. So it's a massive attack. So it's the one with the two cars. It's my man and the car that we were using from the event. He loves us, yeah, Hamba. As it's called Hilton, there's so much mist and that road is quite bad if you know it. But if you don't, it's full of potholes basically. If you don't know that road or if you've never driven on the road, it's kind of difficult to be driving it now at night. And on top of that, there was a lot of mist. So, Daddy found himself in a predicament of now getting stuck in a pothole on the money tire and stuff. And now that was the situation with the appendix, no busy. So, yeah, yesterday was just hectic. Kind of, so, now this is okay, fine, we went to the and then, like, once she turned it higher. My sister's again, I enter Howick. Sweetie, it was a huge accident. And then I was like, you see, God never does things just for doing things. Things happen for a reason. Like, God wouldn't have delayed us if not for this. And this happened the other year, 40. I would say delay, but that's a story for another day. I'm just saying, everything happens for a reason. Things could be worse in any situation that you find yourself in. Just remember that things could be worse. Appreciate actually that situation because things could be worse. Even though, yeah, my boyfriend needs to like get, I mean, I'm telling what that will be all perfect because. I am boyfriend, I am man. I am man is a man. That's why I call him daddy because I'm his baby. And he called me mommy because he's my baby. But anyway, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you in our next vlog.